and size of this bottle. But we're going to have to do something about it now. It's, uh, I don't think people realise just how serious it is. Uh, but it's pretty serious. Good morning my Barnyard buddies, welcome back. Glad you could join us. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the little bell to be notified of new videos uploaded like this every week. Okay, let's get on with it. Come on then, come on. Come on. Yeah, come on. The weather's just been relentless. Constantly wet all the time. Never seems to want to give up. Raining at all. Uh, so England and, uh, and Ireland there, we're, uh, we're certainly having a few problems. Trying to think forward and trying to make some uh, correct uh, management decisions has been very difficult. We've got three weeks silage left. That's all we've got now. Oh, and it's just so wet. This time of year, uh, we've normally got spraying completed, fertilizer all completed, all chain arrowing and grazing, and all the land prepared for growing the grass for uh, silage in May. But uh, just at the moment, it's just a non starter. It's absolutely sickening. can't control it so we've, just, so we've got to work around it so we're going to make a decision today um, about feeding cows uh, I think uh, we have the feed don't forget me wrong like I said salad is just about out the feed we've got it's in the field in form of green grass the problem with that is is getting it from the field to the cow oh, oh it's, it's awful it's absolutely awful but that's the weather it's not going to complain about it. It just, it, it, well, it it's not going to complain about it, is it? It's pointless. It's, it's, it's happened. It's raining. It's doing what it does. And uh, we've just got to work around it. So, what we're going to do, we're going to work around it. It won't beat us. The size of this bottle. There's a mess down here. Please dry up. Each of these panels are a meter across. So I'll, uh, I'll just have a count up, see how much we've got. Using about two panels a week. That's uh, two meters a week. So it's, it's three stanchions on minus one panel. Hello ladies. So what we've said, we've said we've got three stanchions on. One, two, three. That's a one, two, three, four, five, six. So we've seven panels left. We're using two panels a week. So that's that give us uh, three and a half weeks of silage left. Uh, that's silage internal, then we've no silage left whatsoever, we're completely out. These are his next batch of efforts to carve. Should be carving uh, probably next month. One or two just springing up now, so. But uh, once they get a little bit closer, we'll take them down and train them on the robot. Without like, getting my book out, I think they're due uh, from next month onwards. Quite a few round bales left, but we can't feed that to milk cows. It's more like here. The frustrating thing is, we have the feed. It's right here. Just walking through the field, though, it's just squelch, squelch, squelch. It's just too wet. 
how frustrating it is. Sun shines above, water's below. We have some beautiful fields of grass. Protein's perfect, grasses are ready. We just need to go fetch it. It's not only just our farm that's having problems, it's farms all over the country that are uh, having problems and uh, stretching into Ireland as well. Our area of the world, around the UK and the United Kingdom, has just just been relentless with the rain and it's just not uh, it's just not mending at all. The um, problem has been it's just been so wet for so long. I think it uh, I don't think it stopped raining since about September, October. It's been wet ever since then. Normally we have a dry spell through the winter, but it's just, it's just not happened, has it? Whoa! The weather, I'm trying to make uh, management decisions of what to do. Um, we've got to just make the best of it. But it's certainly causing anxiety issues on uh, on farms. Farms not running, uh, not really just doing what to do to for best really for the animals and the stock. We don't just uh, stem to uh, livestock farms. The arable farms are having their own problems as well. They should have had their uh, winter wheat seen and their winter barley and all all the winter sown crops in and the spring crops as well. I don't think they've got anywhere near putting spring crops in. They just they just can't get on to put it on. Normally they're in they're in now and growing away. Fertilize, sprayed, and everybody's on top of the job, but it's it's not happening at all. It's just not happening. Bloody awful. But the problem they've got is because they're not in soon enough, they're not going to germinate soon enough, so the yields are going to be so low that it's just not it's just not going to be viably uh, worth it for them you know the, 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 it's serious i don't think people realize how serious it is because winter feed's running so short so one or two uh, livestock farms have also turned out i know in our area it's uh, probably a, a, not, a not good not a good situation to be in uh, because the ground obviously on the hillside here we're a lot of clay clay ground and it just holds water there is some sandy soil in some areas that are dry, but uh, turning cows out into all this wet weather, all they're going to do is poach the ground, make holes, fills with water, and the land's ruined all summer. So if you do it too early, you know, people say, why do you just turn them out? We don't just turn them out because it spoils the land for the rest of the year. So if we don't get it right now, we've ruined the rest of the summer. There'll be no grass for later, no crops, nothing. So what you're saying, you're saying go on this top flat. Yeah, take all the top off. Top off and go down. That, we'll leave that ridge. You leave ridge. And pull and down. Work your way down and get that bomb shifted. And if it comes dry by some miracle, take the ridge off. And if it doesn't come dry, then we'll start in the lower. We'll start in some of these flat ones down here. Yeah. I think if you get away from gateway in here, it's it'll not be too bad. Yeah, it's normally wet there. But it's normally wet at this bottom end here where we turn round. Morning, isn't it? No, there isn't. It's, it's just, the but it's thing. ready though, you see, because yeah. look. No, it's ready. It's all leaf. You no, know, it's all it's there. It's ready. I mean, that's it's, it's perfect. Dry, it's drier than that one up there. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Come for these first. You didn't come for these yeah. first. And if we don't get it, if we don't get some of these wet spots, we'll, we'll just miss them out. But you work might be a bit. Of, you'll have to join onto track at different stages. Yeah, just spread the wheel lines out. And then, like that one top at wood there, it slopes away. You can do probably the top section, but yeah, if you go in that corner, that corner you're, you're, in, you're, you're into the river. This is the first ones with tillies, anyway. Yeah, I think take some of these wettings out. I mean, we'll just keep nibbling at it. Like, I think because of how much grass is in here, you might get three days in here. Three times. We might get four if we're not feeding a vast amount. We're not going to go mad, are we? No, but yeah, if you were filling the box full, 
then yes, it yeah, will yeah, longer, yeah. Not, yeah. We're not we're gonna fill it just do a bit. Mix it with silage, I think. How are you gonna mix it? Well I don't well you know what I mean. Sprinkle Spring, you know what I mean, best we can. Best we can. Until it till till it comes, till weather comes. If it comes. As soon as some silage left in pit then run out. Oh yeah, so, yeah, silage is in pit's okay, but it's just that there's <laughs> it's three weeks left. It's really, really working out now what's the, what's going to be the best loss. Do you wreck your land that will be cheaper to mend, or do you buy expensive silage? In but if you wreck your nice green field, if you wreck your land now, it's wrecked all summer. This is ridiculous. So it should be all right. Yeah, but it'll be good. Not changing, are Yeah, we haven't gone with us, have we? This side out of the wall, I think it'll look. What's that one like? Number one off on that side. Okay, just arrived at the field of Zero Grazer, and guess what? It's absolutely chucking it down. we go we've got a small load it's uh, pretty darn wet what it's doing is paddling soil to the top because it's just so soft but thankfully it hasn't sunk up to axles <laughs> if we'd done that we would have had to abandon it anyway we wouldn't have done it it's going to make a mess fetching uh, a small load of grass every day but what can we do what can we do we could buy a load of silage in like i mentioned earlier we we'll buy some bays in, we've looked at that. That'll upset our uh, feeding pan that we have. Because uh, maize is very starchy. Uh, we need to alter this complete feeding program to feed starch. What we'll do, we'll have a go with grass for a while. Fingers crossed. Oh, let's hope it dries up. For fuck's sake. It's just gone along enough, hasn't it? I'm interested to know how uh, how, how this weather is stressing you out on your uh, on your farm as well? Let us know in the comments below uh, if you've got any ideas of how you're trying to cope with this uh, this extreme wet weather. Just let us know in the comments below. I'd be interested to know.
these girls are going to enjoy this grass. It's the first time they've had it in five months. Right, we've certainly started something now. They're never going to leave us alone. Our aim here is to uh, obviously get these great get this green grass into these cows. Uh, but the main object, because it's so wet and silage is running out, is to uh, try to save on silage. Once again, I mentioned it earlier. We've got three weeks worth of uh, clamp silage left. No let up in the weather. Absolutely no let up in the weather. So we'll. Uh, We'll crack on with this zero grazing now, mixing the grass and silage together. Well, I say mixing it, what we'll do, we'll just give them a limited amount of green grass. The main diet is still going to be clamp silage, but I know what's going to happen tomorrow. They're going to, cows are going to stand here and they're going to shout at us all morning or all evening until we fetch, until we fetch them some grass. The problem is, like on every other farm, the weather's just relentless and uh, it's, it's just getting out of the field. It's just getting the stuff out of the field that's a problem. There's been so much rain, the water's in so deep. You know, I mean, okay, it rains and it showers and nine times out of 10 through the year, it's absolutely fine. It's not a problem at all. But the problem is, it's rained so long. I think it started, I'm sure it started. Let me just think back on that. I'm sure it started way back in about October. And it's just continuously got wetter and wetter. And it's been wet continuously wet all winter long we've had no snow just rainwater and it's just got deeper and deeper into the soil so the so the water table's so high and whatever happens if you're going to a field when it's so wet all you're going to do is just sink in the mud so what we're going to do we'll try and work on these dry fields best we can try and keep these cows fed keep them all happy and hopefully oh, hopefully will dry out and hopefully one day it'll give up raining all right just before you watch our next video how we dealt with the slurry problem on the farm just watch how fast these cows eat this grass 